We were in North Gaza and we had to cross to South Gaza where the Rafah border crossing is. And that's where I was stopped by the Israeli army. They were uh, in the middle of the Salah al-Din Street, which is one of the two roads that connect North and South Gaza. Um, I did not expect to be stopped by the Israeli army. There were hundreds of people w walking in that line. So I, went, I was called out by an Israeli soldier without, it was not my name, it was description. Um, so I was, I was surprised because the fact that our names appeared on the list means that we, are, we were cleared by Israel, by the Palestinians, and by the Egyptians. So I was surprised to be taken out of the line, to be later stripped naked of my clothes instead of three soldiers, before being blindfolded and handcuffed before being beaten in the face and in my stomach, before being taken to Israel. And I stayed there for about three and a half days without knowing whether my wife and kids who were, who, uh, from whom I was separated were still alive or not, whether they made it to a safe place or not. And the conditions were really horrible because there is not enough food. They just give you a crumb of, of bread, uh, two or three drops of water, uh, you are not allowed to go to the bathroom except after you are about to pee on yourself. When you go to the toilet even, there is no tissue paper, there is no, there is no even water to clean after yourself. And many people, many kidnapped people were, uh, died under the Israeli interrogation or because of the medical conditions they suffered from before they were taken. So the Israeli soldiers were, did not pay any attention to any people. They did not have any charges, charges or against us. They just took us whether randomly or because they had some intelligence that this person might know something that they wanted to know. So after great pressure that was put on them, they said, we are sorry about the mistake, you are going home. That was the end of it. But many remain in the custody without charge. So that just the three days before I was kidnapped, I knew of another person who was kidnapped. He was released just two weeks ago. So he spent about eight months in Israeli jails in horrible conditions. And just imagine after being released, after eight months of being kidnapped, how much shocking news you will learn. A father you, he lost, a, a brother he lost, maybe a house that he lost. Just imagine how shocking it is that they were kidnapped and then the news that they were going to get after they were released.